Prevalence rates vary widely, as indicated on this map, where the color red represents areas with high disease prevalence and the color yellow represents areas of lower disease prevalence. Southeast Asia has approximately 75% of the world's patients with leprosy. India alone has 65%, Africa has 12%, and the Americas have 8%. Of the 16 countries that reported more than 1,000 new cases in 2009, the greatest number of new cases was seen in India, followed by Brazil, Indonesia, Bangladesh, and Nigeria. In the United States, leprosy is rare, with approximately 200 new cases detected in 2010, three-quarters of these in immigrants. Routes of transmission of leprosy are still being researched, M. leprae seems to spread person to person by nasal secretions or droplets. Millions of organisms may be discharged in nasal secretions and may remain viable for 8 to 10 days. However, the disease is not highly contagious. Infected droplets reach other humans' nasal passages, and some research also suggests that the infected droplets can enter via breaks in skin. M. leprae apparently cannot infect intact skin. Although human-to-human -human transmission is the primary source of infection, three other species can carry and rarely transfer M. leprae to humans. Chimpanzees, mangabee monkeys, and nine-banded armadillos. Occurrence in animals makes it difficult to eradicate leprosy. Recent genetic studies have demonstrated that several genes, about seven, are associated with an increased susceptibility to leprosy. Some researchers now conclude that susceptibility to leprosy may be partially inheritable.